Hey everybody, Ryan's back once again. Super Mario Maker, taking a look at Course World here, split into three sections, pretty self-explanatory. Makers show you all the folks that are currently making levels sorted by star ranking or who I'm following. Uh, we also have courses, again, pretty self-explanatory. This is basically the leaderboards of how you would go through and see what levels are available. Featured, I don't know how you get featured. I have a feeling that's just you made a level recently, let's say. Sorted by star ranking, basically, you know, the most the most levels that uh, that have gotten the most stars, pretty self-explanatory. This is if you, if you want to come in here and kind of take a quick look, that's how you would sort of, you want to play one level, great. But what I've really enjoyed in terms of course world and, and user created courses is the 100 Mario Challenge which basically allows you to choose from easy, normal, and export, ex, expert. I like normal. It's essentially just like the 10 Mario Challenge, except it's pulling levels from the internet. And normal, I find, is a nice balance of levels that were created by the users. And it's 100 Mario, or sorry, 100 lives to complete 8, 16, or I think 32 is the export. Why do I keep saying export? <laughs> Expert. So we're not going to go through all 16 levels. We're just going to take a, a look at a few of them just to give you the idea of how it works and why I really enjoy it. So we're just getting a smorgasbord of levels and this is like, hey, I unlocked... And that's the other thing too, is you're getting really a smorgasbord of created content from people who have a review copy of the game. Uh, so it's, it's, these are, these, some of these levels are messes. I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Oh dear. Uh, get out of here. Oh! That is pain. So you'll see the red X, that's where we died, and if enough people have played the level, it'll actually show where everybody else has died as well. Okay, let's see if we need... So you can see a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but a few people. If you play a level that's been played by a lot of people, you'll see a ton of red X's. So those are interesting to see. I need to get past this stupid... No! Mm. No! I'm not... I'm not a really big... I knew that was happening. Why, why would I do that to myself? So, new Super Mario Brothers... I did it again. We did it. Um, maybe Diablo, sorry. Uh, so, these levels are all pulled from the internet. After you beat a level, as you can see, it's loading the next one, giving us the course clear. We have the ability to star, comment. I'm not gonna do anything for this one. I, I wasn't a, a big fan of it. We beat it, yay, we did it. So now we move on. Second world here for this little thing. I love all the little touches of Mario music and they don't just focus on one Mario, they focus on a bunch of Marios. So this appears to be a underwater level that the guy has created. Oh, look at that. Giving us the opportunity to get some stars. Or some mushroom, or some one-ups. Uh, wow, these levels have been pretty simplistic. So, so that's the other thing too is, this mode is really only as good as the content that is being created by the community is pulling, I don't think it pulls necessarily high starred content. I think, I think it legitimately just pulls random levels that are available that are rated at a normal difficulty rating. So it's, it's not, it's not the most craziest thing. Oh, we got some wall jumps. Oh dear. That could have sucked. This, this could also suck. Things gonna come after me. Ah. So we might have our first hard level here. As you can see, a lot of people are dying. Uh, it's not a lot of fun. 
Um, dying, that is. Alright. Let's see if I can egg this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Alright. Good, good, good. Ah! So if I don't like a level, let's say this one, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm playing on the gamepad right now, and I can literally just swipe from right to left and just throw it out of there and skip it. You're not penalized for skipping levels. You just It just skips it to the next one, you move on. I mean, there might be some sort of penalty. Oh, okay, so we got a, an airship time level here. pretty simple. Not, nothing too bad about that. It, it was varied. It had some cool elements. That looked to be someone's first sort of scrolling. So I, I like that one. So I'll give it a star. And basically what the stars allow you to do is as a creator gets more stars, they're able to upload more levels. So you start with 10 slots and I think the more stars you get, the more slots you unlock to upload. Therefore rewarding those that are making really cool levels to allow them to upgrade even more. Uh, ah, nope. I'm gonna try going up. Maybe that might help. Game. Gamers. Uh, ah, oh. Coins! So as you can see, you can get pretty liberal with the coins that are available to you. Oh man, this looks... It's a pretty simple level there. So not, not nothing too shabby. Anyways, that's the 100 Mario challenge. Maybe we'll, we'll jump out of this and we'll play an expert. Just start, just quickly start an expert. So you can save and quit um, if you want to return to your quote-unquote campaign. So let's go to expert. I actually have a level already started. As you can see, I've done four levels and I've got 43 lives left. So, not doing so hot. These levels are pretty difficult because they focus on a lot of like really tight jumps. So we'll do one level because sometimes they are painful to watch somebody play through. Too much water. Ugh, water level, maybe. Well. It's like he timed that, so I would hit it and then hit the Koopa. This is what I mean by difficulty. They've just sort of... Ah. Oh dear. No, you don't want it. Ah! Mario, we did it. Oh, really? Who puts a piranha plant there? Oh. Ah! So it turns out you can link levels with different themes. So it turns out you can, it looks like you can link levels with different, you can link levels with different um, themes. Not necessarily different like tile sets, but different themes at the very least. So we're gonna go up here. Oh wow, this is very I wonder how we would have got up there if we didn't. Alright. This guy's a, this is a really cool level. Keeps going. Oh dear. Let's see if I can. No, that was a mistake. A lot of people died there. Alright, we got this. 
We don't get this. We died again. Alright, one more shot. Let's see if we can do this. It's a really cool linked level, I gotta say. Uh, I'm definitely getting a star. Ah! No! Panicked. Panicked and I died. Too much. Damn it, I died again. Anyways, I'm gonna stop it there. Uh, progress really saved. So that's really cool that they've allowed you. They don't just make you, f they force you to finish the campaign. I think it's really cool that they allow you to save and quit whenever you want. And also store uh, different save levels in your Hunter Mario Challenge across difficulties. So that's really cool. Um, I'm really digging this because with the Hunter Mario Challenge, it allows you to basically be like, don't worry about searching for levels, finding starred ones, whatever. You can certainly search the browser uh, of levels. You can certainly enter codes to unlock a specific level that someone's created. But something about just this randomized selection is just a really cool addition to the game and, and a great way to allow you to discover levels you really enjoy and creators you really like. So. Definitely one of my favorite parts of Super Mario Maker. So anyways, this has been 100 Mario Challenge. I've been Ryan Murphy. Follow me on Twitter at rmurphy. Go to ryanmurphy.ca for more of my work. Subscribe on YouTube here for more video game content. And of course, go to gamersinpodcast.com for more Super Mario Maker content, including a review. And we're probably going to talk about it on the podcast. That's a safe bet. So enjoy all that fun business. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.